It's not every day you get invited to Washington, D.C. to eat with one of the most notable figures in America. One lucky racer joined Vice President Joe Biden at our nation's capital for dinner. And our field reporter Olivia was able to talk with Michael about this unique experience and his work with the LGBT community. Hey everyone, I'm here with Michael Pinner discussing his dinner with Vice President Joe Biden. Mike, Michael, tell me what it was like to have dinner with the Vice President. Uh, it was actually uh, pretty amazing. Uh, getting to see him walk out and get to shake his hand and everything. Uh, it was what, a chance of a lifetime to get to do that. And why did you get the chance to have this dinner in the first place? It was actually um, a nomination. Jody Kofer, the, mm -hmm. uh, the Alliance advisor, uh, nominated me and I was accepted uh, to uh, do the uh, LGBT Emerging Leaders uh, mm -hmm. briefing and the panel and everything. So uh, if it wasn't for him, then I wouldn't have been able to go. Really? So um, you said Joe Biden gave a speech at the dinner. What did he talk about in his speech? Uh, it was unscripted. Uh, so he was flying off the cuff. He uh, spoke about uh, how he ha got his Senate office in the uh, office building in uh, D.C. and uh, he was wanting to thank us instead of thanking them because it didn't take that much courage for them to do what they've done, but it takes a lot of courage for what we do. Mm -hmm. That's great. Is there anything he said in that speech that really impacted you? I mean, all of this was like off the press, so I can't exactly quote anyone. But uh, I mean, he like I, I really like the fact that he was wanting to thank us, mm -hmm. then thank them because I mean, all they have to do is like sign a bill and it happens. But I mean, we have to live our lives every day the way like with hatred towards us and everything. I mean, we, we have a lot harder lives than what they do, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did you get the chance to shake his hand? <laughs> I, I actually I actually did, yes. He, uh, as he was coming out, uh, we were kind of in a line and we got to shake his hand as he was walking out to the podium. So, I mean, how does that make you feel? You got to shake the hand of the Vice President of the United States. I mean, yeah. not everybody gets to do that. Yeah, I, w I was really excited. He, he walked by and was like, hey, how you doing? And I got to shake his hand. It was, it was really exciting. And did you get to take any pictures with him? I didn't get to take a picture with him, no, because the only pictures they were taking were group shots, uh -huh. and I, I kind of wanted a one-on-one -on -one with him. But uh, I did get a picture with his wife, Dr. Biden. Really? Um, did she say anything to you? Uh, she, she was uh, a quick picture taker <laughs> and then leave uh -huh. to get everyone through the line. Really? So where exactly was the dinner? It was actually uh, outside his house on the Naval Observatory uh, by his pool. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, all kinds of food, little, it was pretty much like a little like mini dinner with all kinds of little mini uh, sliders and everything and it, it was pretty good. Now you said you were invited there based, you know, for, for LGBT. Why is that important to you? Well, I'm, I'm the Vice President of the Alliance, so I mean, I, I take it pretty seriously. Um, a lot of people don't have such great lives as what I've had. Like my mom has been really accepting of me, like my dad doesn't know yet. But my, my mom uh, has really been a great mother and I, I know a lot of friends that hasn't had the opportunity to live that way. So uh, that, that's why I take it uh, pretty seriously. All right, well, Michael, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. It was a pleasure speaking with yeah, you. Yeah, thank you.